Okay, yeah, I thought I'd just see you boys today since I missed you at noontime. Uh, and we had decent practice today and uh, had a lot of errors in the game. And uh, the reason we got beat, really. Had pretty good effort, but uh, Auburn, uh, they, they, they played well. They didn't play with many mistakes. Had two fumbles, and uh, that was it. And uh, we, we, our fumbles, they got all of them in the second half. And then we tossed one out of bounds, as you know. So anyway, uh, we'll regroup and see if we can't get better some way, somehow or another. Coach, you like on T.J. Johnson, I think they took it easy in practice today. Is that any serious? Yeah, T.J. had a sprained uh, foot and knee a little bit. Uh, he won't do much this week. Uh, Rokevius didn't practice either. Uh, but anyway, we uh, if you watch the tape, you say, you know how was how were we even in that that game last week? But we were in it with our chances, and uh, obviously the, the fumble plays were a huge difference. Okay, what else you got? Stephen doing a better job not diving. In. Yeah, we told Stephen. I told Stephen I'm gonna have a tough time letting him play if he continues duck, ducks his head like that because that's how serious injuries occur. And uh, we tell our players all the time, you got to see what you hit, and everybody's got to run. He, you can run low, but you can't duck your head, and. Uh, He's going to try not to do that, and, uh, and you know he tells me he can play without doing that, so he must do that or, or we're going to take him out to, to avoid injury to himself. Heck, I'm afraid they could sue me if I let him play like that, because that's, that, that's, uh, that's a terrible way to play football. You can't do it like that. How was he physically when you took him out, when you put Connor in? I don't know. I didn't talk to him. Did you? Steven? Uh, no, I didn't talk to him at that time. Is he still your starter? Uh, huh? Is he still your starter? Yeah, yeah, decision? we plan on him starting against Alabama. He actually played three quarters pretty well, and then obviously the, the two fumbles were really bad plays. Now, can he stop fumbling? Are we going to give him a chance to stop fumbling? Uh, he hasn't thrown a lot of picks this year, so uh, other than the fumbles, uh, he's, he's played you know pretty decently. How about Alshon's work ethic? Yeah, Alshon's doing doing fine. Uh, the other guys are doing okay. Probably need to play Ace Sanders more. We're not getting him out there enough. Uh, yeah, Alshon's doing fine. He's doing fine. He works hard in practice, as does all the guys. I know you've asked Stephen in the past to fall forward mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to slide. What is the difference between going in the way he does? No, we ask him to forward. get on the ground. We don't ask him to take on tacklers. We don't ask our quarterbacks to take on tacklers. We ask him to get on the ground. Uh, the Auburn quarterback, he can, he ran through a bunch of guys. He didn't run right over the straight guys, and he didn't duck his head. In fact, I've never seen any player in college football duck his head the way Steven does. You can't do that and avoid injury forever. So that, that, that's what we're trying to do. Get on the ground, you know. Steven, he's a pretty good runner with the ball, and uh, he made some positive yards at the right times. And so did Connor. Connor came out of there. Our pass protection wasn't very good the other night. wasn't very good at all. So it was tough back there. How's Josh Dickerson coaching? He's doing okay. Yeah, okay. Heard it all in that yellow jersey? Uh, he had a little something, I'm not sure. About. But with open day, a lot of guys get ankles or sprain, knees, and this, that, and that. Ducky, is that something that Steven had, probably had from high school? I guess, I guess, because he's done it ever since he's been here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just is really, we, we've talked about it, uh, uh, but we haven't maybe emphasized it as well as we should have. But he, he need, he's got to stop doing that. What are your answers on the offensive line? This is the second week in a row you've been mm -hmm. I don't have an answer. You need to ask Coach Elliott that. Maybe we're just not as, you know, we just can't block guys well enough to allow our quarterback to stand back there a long time. That's why we've got to run it and mix it up. Are you deep enough personnel-wise? We can't quite do it. Are you no, deep enough no, personnel-wise to make changes? No, or just no, we're, we're stuck with what we got. And uh, I told one of our guys today, he said, we're not benching you, but when losing begins to hurt these guys, as much as it hurts some of us, we'll have a good team to hurt South Carolina. But I'm not convinced losing hurts these guys much. Or else they'd play better. They would really play their assignments and play better. That's the only reason I know. They're either not smart enough to play or losing doesn't hurt. One or the other, because they're big, strong guys. Our line looks pretty good running out there, don't they? They, they look pretty good, and then the ball snapped, and sometimes we just don't compete hard enough. But they're our guys. We're going to try to get them to play better. So hopefully we can. We'll keep trying. Those Auburn guys played pretty well, didn't they? They block. Their guys could block. I don't know who their line coach is, but he's a hell of a coach. Because he, they blocked us better than anybody on here. But anyway, we'll get better. Got a little time. Okay. All right.
See you guys next time. Yeah,